Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. You guys seem to really enjoy my last three small houses video, and a comment from Macloom84 suggested some small houses built to suit the desert environment. Therefore, today I give to you three small houses in the desert for role players. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first house is a small dual layered home with a raised outer platform using sandstone, stone brick, insulated wood and stable pieces. Though we are building it in the desert I am aware that's more of a stylistic choice for role players and these bases will be designed with that in mind, therefore I will be using tier 2 and tier 3 materials in these builds to make these homes as fitting as possible. The idea with this home was to create something very traditional, almost something you'd expect to find in say a medieval town though I did want the extra utility of having a raised platform outside the house. I did this by using the foundation stepping trick and bridging the height difference with stage stairs, and it works really nicely. This is a really simple home to construct, and the contrasts between the material choices work really well for helping to break up the tonality of the home, whilst also keeping things roughly similar in terms of style. The home will end up fairly tight inside, though there's enough room for all the necessary amenities with some careful placement. If you're role playing as more of a social person, this house may not be perfect for you, as the actual livable space within is fairly narrow, and thus there isn't enough room for, say, a large table for all your friends to sit around. However, if you are a more solitary role player, or you're a craftsman, the platform outside allows for some extra crafting stations, which is perfect if you want to role play as a blacksmith, a tailor, or something similar. Overall, this build is fairly easy to construct, pretty typical of the desert, and works very well. The second home is a rounded cabin using insulated wood, stable and thatch pieces to create something rustic with a sturdy yet framework foundation to give the home a sort of scaffolding look on the bottom. This home was a little tricky to construct given the weird stability distribution around the centre, though it can be simplified even more by just using a ladder, whereas of course I chose to be difficult and instead use a staircase. The idea with this home is to create something a little different from the usual small house design, something which has a few nooks and crannies in which you can store valuables or important items, whilst also having a very attractive and unique shape. Unfortunately due to the design, this home is lacking on space for larger workstations, something which may deter some of you out there, but I still think it's a workable home for someone who doesn't require an extensive workshop. Outside of the functionality aspect, this house is pretty unique and offers some nice aesthetics whilst also being pretty flexible, able to work in the desert, the highlands and the jungle. Whilst the stability did make this base a little harder to construct than some others, meaning I had to make some adjustments to the side roofs, I think this build ends up looking and feeling really nice. It is somewhat cramped within, though not uncomfortably so, and it's a nice little place you can call home, perfect for a curious alchemist, or simply someone with a taste for the unique. This home is definitely an eye catcher in terms of aesthetics, and if you are looking for something that can stand out from the rest of these small cabins out there, this should be perfect for you. The materials fit perfectly within the desert, and overall, it's a pretty good home.
Finally, we have a Keton house utilising the arena, stable, and of course the Keton material sets. This house is designed as a more colourful and personality based interpretation of a desert home that still fits into the desert setting. Sandstone, stone brick and insulated wood aren't the only things that will work in the desert, so why not try a bit more colour with the Keton set? This home features a small porch, a large central room, and two other rooms with space for perhaps a workshop and a kitchen. You also have an enclosed open air porch on the right hand side, and stairs up to an attic space designed to serve as both a bedroom and a storage space. Kitan is still one of my least used material sets unfortunately, and whilst I have tried to incorporate it a bit more into some new builds, it just doesn't really click for me. However there are some settings where I do really like Kitan, and I think this one works really well. The red wood nicely contrasts against the sands of the desert and the stable and arena elements of the build, whilst not being too dissimilar in tone. I also use these stable pieces to create some large windows right at the front of the home, which given aren't as perfect as they would be if I were using mods, but they do offer a pretty nice base game alternative. This gives a bit more light and space to the build, especially perceived space, though if you did want you know, a bit more security, you could simply make these windows storm glass, lattice, or you could resort to any place in windows on the second tile. This is probably the most stereotypical home out of the three, offering ample social and living space whilst not allowing any production areas such as the kitchen or the workshop to bleed into those more cosy spaces. Of course the Keton theme lends itself well to, well, a Keton character, so this would be a great home for one. However you don't have to be role playing a Keton to have this home, it should work with a wide variety of decorations and cultural styles, aside from maybe the Argosians or the Savage Frontier folks. And there we have it, three small homes in the desert for all you role players out there. Thanks for watching, with a bit of decoration suited to your character, you can easily turn any of these designs into a really comfortable home for yourself. Thank you to Macloom84 for the suggestion for this, this was actually pretty fun and if you guys do enjoy this video then I might take a look at doing something similar for some of the other biomes, especially the jungle and the frozen north. If you enjoy my content, all the links to my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, Host Havoc affiliate page, NordVPN discount and NordPass discount are available in the description below. However, of course, you can simply just leave a like, a comment or subscribe, any of those are very greatly appreciated. Patrons get a bunch of nice benefits including sneak peeks of videos, your name in every video, custom made wallpapers in 1080p and 4k resolutions, full size build blueprints, discord roles and more. That being said, a massive thanks to all of our esteemed coffee cultists on screen now for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.